Hi, welcome to my channel, Fashionista Lies G. And for today's vlog, we are going to talk about traveling. Hi, welcome back. So, as I've said, today we are going to talk about traveling. How often I do travel? So my answer is very often. Okay, so I often travel within Thailand and Philippines. Okay, but um, I do travel also into other countries, um, the countries that I want to go. Okay, it's not, uh, I travel not because for social media posting like, post pictures that you are well traveled no not like that uh, I am traveling because I want to and I love to okay so I choose countries that I go it's not about having a lot it's about choosing the countries that you want to okay so in any country that I go there is always a significant story okay and um yeah <laughs> so let's start um let's start so as i've said i often travel within thailand because of my workload okay so because i'm i'm so busy i don't have day off i work seven days a week so most of the time um i travel within thailand okay so i sometimes take advantage of a national holiday that every everything closed so uh, i took a chance to travel okay and sometimes um i just go to nearby places but um it's beautiful yeah so often i go to rachaburi the place of my friends gilbert and rinse and the rest of our friends there so i often go there um much more this time of pandemic that um school closed so um i get bored inside staying in my condo so i prefer to stay there and travel together any part of rachaburi that is safe for for us okay so yeah, I, as I've said, I often travel within Thailand, okay? So, for example, uh, my partner come to visit me like three times a year. So, we often go places in Thailand, like for example, Chiang Mai, Udon Thani, or Pattaya, or wherever we want to go. So, yeah... The thing, as I've said, I'm very busy. I have work seven days a week, and I don't have day off, even even Sunday. So, what I do, how I can travel. So, of course, um, for example, me and my partner will go to Udon Thani. So I arrange my schedule in school, and then um, I go to Udon Thani. For example, today. And tomorrow morning, I will come back to Bangkok to work and then go back in the evening. The same routine. Back to Bangkok in the morning, go back to Udon Thani in the evening. It's costly. It's really, we are really spending a lot of money for the air ticket. But the most important thing is I am doing my job. Okay, I don't want to deprive the learning of my students and um, it's not their fault that I travel so I have to sacrifice yeah so we so that we can we can make things possible of course we have to sacrifice things so yeah the sacrifice is that I have to wake up early morning and uh, fly to Thailand to Bangkok and then after my work I have to run to the airport and back to to Udon Thani for example so that is one sacrifice and the other is finances right so 
it's it's very costly to book ticket every day back and forth <laughs> aside from aside from the ticket of course uh, the for taxi and everything and everything that I need but it doesn't matter uh, that that is maybe the reason why um, my boss kept me in my workplace like for 10 years or more yeah I think it's it's nearly 11 years if I'm not mistaken okay so um, we go places in Thailand because actually uh, and then because actually um, many there are so many places here in Thailand that is like beautiful to visit I love nature that is the reason why I prefer Isan than the beaches okay so next is if I if I <laughs> if I have a long holiday like for example New Year New Year's holiday or Songkran festival so of course schools are closed also uh, for a week right so sometimes I ask my boss to give me additional days so that I can spend with my family like two weeks okay for example New Year's holiday of course I go home to Philippines so I go home to Philippines with my partner and then uh, we travel together with the kids um, to Cebu, to Tagaytay, to Angeles, or any any part in the Philippines that we want to go. Okay, most of our travels is about food. So we travel to places because we love the food, right? So that is how I do. Um, so for New Year, uh, it's only this new year last new year 2021 that i did not spend in the philippines because of pandemic but before the pandemic um new year 2020 i was in the philippines i came back january so i supposed to go back to philippines february but uh, it was already locked down so yeah better to stay here first for our safety and for the safety of our family back home but I do go home to Philippines three times a year or four times a year yeah any chances that I have uh, I prefer to go home to Philippines so this time I can go home anytime I want to because I am an overseas Filipino worker so if I will go home to Philippines um, the quarantine is free and the transportation from the from the airport to quarantine facility to my house free okay so I will only think about the air ticket so it's not about like that I'm thinking also about um, going back going back to Thailand or um, I am thinking about the safety of my of my children of my family in the Philippines so I did not go I prefer to stay here um, yeah for the meantime and uh, maybe maybe next month maybe this month or next month we will get the vaccine already so um, we can freely travel uh-huh let's hope for the for the best but when this pandemic over or if everything is already open and yeah I will surely go home to Philippines so um, yeah my favorite places to travel is within Thailand and within Philippines okay but um, I've been to Singapore because um, my partner celebrated his birthday in Singapore so we decided to to meet in Singapore um, he traveled from Switzerland first to Philippines and then because I was too busy at that time teaching in the university and then 
because his birthday was August 15, so we met. I flew to Singapore August 14. So we met there August 14 and celebrated his birthday in Singapore and back to Thailand together. Um, so that's that, that's it. I just visited the I just visited the the popular places in Singapore like like the Universal Studio, <clears throat> Marina Bay Sand. Yeah, I w I I went to Merlion and I even rode a cable car. So that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. So three days I think in Singapore is okay. So the next was um, in Macau. I went to Macau for just uh, one night, two days stay in Macau. It was Father's Day, so it's holiday here in Thailand, and I took advantage of the holiday. So I said, um, maybe, maybe I can visit my friend in Macau. So I've been to Macau. Yeah, I've been to Macau to visit my friend, Dayan, and uh, so we went around. So you will see a lot of photos in Macau, but it was just like two days, one night that I stayed there. So you will be surprised maybe why you have a lot of photos and different clothes. Of course, um, when I travel, when I travel, like I really want to take a photo. And then when I already took a photo, I'm done and go back. <laughs> so while we are going around Macau, uh, I brought with me my luggage, my luggage bag. So half day, this is the clothes that I'm going to wear, and the half day I will going to change for another clothes. So it's like it looks like I've been, I was there for for five days because I wore different clothes. <laughs> but it's my, it's it's that style. Okay, so the next out of the country travel was um, Vietnam I went to Vietnam with my daughter for uh, important uh, for some important matter that my daughter uh, did in Vietnam it's just also a one night two days travel so I uh, luckily our hotel was at the center of um, Ho Chi Minh. Uh, Ho Chi Minh? <laughs> yeah, Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> Ho Chi Minh. Yeah, Ho Chi Minh. I, we, went to, we, we went to Ho Chi Minh. Okay, to my, our hotel was at the center. So we just walked going to the Notre Dame. So I have photo, look at it. And um, to the, like, the popular, like, post office um the places the places in in Ho Chi Minh that is that is popular but within the city we did not go out of the city because of limited time so yeah that is how quick I do travel because of my workload yeah it's very seldom it's very seldom that I ask permission from my boss that I'm going to travel because the often I ask for additional days when I go to Philippines so I always ask for example the holiday in Thailand is five days for New Year or Songkran I ask my boss to add, add another five days so it's okay for her because I don't go often okay so yeah but of course i've been to lao i've been to cambodia it's all about the visa thing before yeah i've been to lao three times because the first time that i've been there was um, i was in my first school so i have to get the non-immigrant b visa in lao i have to travel and i found it like um i found lao like okay so it's very quiet and it's like 
not really modern so i love the place so uh, after the expiry expiration of my work permit for um like three years uh, i need to go back to Laos for another non-immigrant visa in my rest in my present workplace so i still love to go there because i can buy uh, cheap things there that I can sell in my online shop okay so now is a good place actually and I've been to Cambodia also um, the latest the very latest that I've been to come I went to Cambodia was um, 2019 I guess yeah 2019 it was it was days before my 58th birthday so my friend um gilbert planned a trip for me to macau but um but apparently i cannot travel that far because i have uh, i have to pay I have to pay the re-entry, something like that, and and yet I already have planned to go back home to Philippines to celebrate my my 58th birthday. So we decided just to go to to Poi Pet. Okay, it's part of Cambodia. We traveled by land. Of course, I we traveled by land so i we went there and we play we play um we play casino thing <laughs> i i don't know i don't know how to play but um it's just for fun that we did just for my birthday so uh we went there four of us gilbert rincy and rincy's mom and me so yeah that is how they celebrated my birthday so my 58th birthday so after that I went home to Philippines because uh, I went home to Philippines um, 19th of December yeah 19th of December it's midnight so it's already 19th I arrived in the Philippines 19th also because this is what I love staying here in Thailand um, many people ask me why why I stayed in Thailand for from 12 years or 13 years next month I will be 13 years here in Thailand uh, people asking uh, why I stayed here for such a long time and I did not decide going uh, working in another country uh, this is the logic um, in Thailand um, the travel time going to Philippines is um, just it's just um, three hours right three hours and the ticket is very cheap compared to other countries going back home so I have kids and I am I am a single mother so I really wanted that um, in case of emergency I can go home easy, easily and quickly right because uh, my kids uh, doesn't have anyone to turn to but me so I cannot be in a place that is very far from them so it's okay for me to work here and um, I can easily go home anytime I want to can you imagine that uh, during my daughter's birthday it was really it was really tough time for me that I re I am I was so busy and it it was his if it, it was her 18th birthday debut so um, I should be there because she's my only daughter what can I do so good thing the, the good thing was uh, I was just three hours away right just like three hours away so I flew from Bangkok to Philippines the day of her birthday 
So I arrived. I arrived Manila. I think one o'clock, one o'clock in the afternoon, and um, she was so surprised that I was there. Actually, that day she was so sad. It's her 18th birthday. It seems like there is no plan at all. So, yeah. So I arrived and she was so shocked and she was so surprised. And then I arrived and then I told them to get ready because we will have dinner together. So we went to, uh, to Alabang Town Center. It's like a buffet restaurant. It all you can restaurant and we had her birthday celebration also with my son because my son's birthday was February 28th and my daughter was March 2 so yeah we celebrate a double celebration in the eat all you can restaurant that night and early morning I went back to Thailand see <laughs> it's just three hours okay so early morning i flew back to thailand and i arrived i arrived here 10 o'clock in the morning i think and i start working at 12 o'clock so work 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 that is my life here it's very it's very challenging and uh i'm very happy and i really love staying here until my retirement time because um, it's very easy for me to go home. It's very convenient for me to go home. It's like I am three hours away from home. So if I think like that, I feel good. Even under this pandemic, when I think that I am just three hours away from home, so I feel good. Okay, so I have a bucket list. Maybe I will going to share it with you in my next vlog but uh, I have a bucket list also so I've been to Singapore I, I love Singapore because it's clean very uh, cl clean country and um, yeah I, I, I love it there and um, so I went to I've been to Macau as I've told you because I visited my friend and I really want to see the the ruins of St. Paul and uh, yeah this time I'm happy that I I know that it's nothing behind it's just there <laughs> just the front and behind it's already nothing because it's ruins <laughs> and then um, yeah Vietnam also because of the Notre Dame church the church Yes, so I still have like 10, 10 countries in my bucket list that I, I will go before retiring, before retiring in the Philippines. Because I, I'm thinking when I retired, when I, when I am, re, when I retired, uh -huh, I don't have my pension yet because my retirement age is 55. So, I don't have my my pension yet, so maybe at that time my savings wouldn't be enough for me to travel because I don't have work anymore, and I will just stay at home, do the gardening, um, uh, do painting. I will I will be hands on beautifying my home. Okay, so I really want to plant a lot, and I really want to beautify my home by myself okay so that is my dream um i w i i wish it it will come true because um uh i really want to i will really want to do it on my own while i'm still strong okay so maybe maybe i won't stop traveling but within philippines actually and i did not explore philippines yet so i just been to few places in the Philippines but the places that I really want to go like Palawan um yeah Palawan <laughs> Palawan and Siargao I, I really want to go there and yeah there are a lot more places that I want to go 
because I've been to Baguio many times during the time of my parents we often go to Baguio uh, I've been to I've been to Lawag I've been to the other one <laughs> vegan yeah I've been to the Gupan I've been to many places in the Philippines uh, but uh, this time there are a lot more to see like for example in Bataan I re there is one place there that I really want to go I forget the name uh -huh. but that is my that's my dream okay so yeah I still have 10 countries maybe in my bucket list and then um, I I want to explore more in the Philippines when give uh, when I retire so yeah in my bucket list m maybe I can give you I can give you the reasons uh, the countries in my bucket list I can give you the reasons in my next blog but uh, to give you some to give you some uh, partial information of course I want to go to Israel <laughs> I want to go to Israel I want to go to Egypt uh, Israel Egypt Rome okay France uh, Amsterdam um, USA um, where else <clears throat> Of course, in Austria, Switzerland, Germany, something like that, Sweden, yeah, and then I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. I can, I can, I can stay in the Philippines until I die. Okay, so that is simple. Uh, I don't have a lot in my bucket list. I don't have dream of traveling around the world um, because I, I really want to stay in the Philippines the rest of my life where my heart is right where my heart is <laughs> okay so if you are new to my channel welcome 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 don't forget to click the subscribe button the notification bell so that you will be updated to my upcoming videos and sharings <laughs> and um, follow me in Instagram uh, Liza Liza Gumatay and in my Facebook Lisa Lipata Gumatay um, and of course um, don't forget to click and subscribe <laughs> and um, I'll see you in my next vlog nawawala ako kasi may pinapanood akong documentary so I is you know uh what makes me busy this past few days is documentaries. I do watch documentaries from different countries. So, yeah, I really want to go to Nepal, to India, something like that. Let's see. But I just have 10 in my bucket, bucket list. 10 only, 10. The 10. So, I'm not yet ready to... The, but the, the, the countries that I named already it's uh, the countries that I want to visit okay so yeah but I'm I love also to go to India and Nepal something like that and I have friends in Bhutan um, that uh, keeps on inviting me to visit their beautiful country Bhutan maybe one day soon who knows right before retiring maybe okay we cannot tell okay so yeah bye for now and i'll see you in my next vlog bye